Hello everyone. Welcome to the Bookworm Society. Today we are going to read a beautiful story that we found on Story Weaver called Chuchu Mantu's Jar of Toffees. This story has been written by Aditi Rao and the beautiful illustrations are by Krishna Balashanan. So let's get into the story. Chuchu Mantu, look. Chuchu Mantu turns to where Preeti is pointing. She quickly eats up the chips on his plate. He falls for this trick every time. Chuchu is the pet name Preet has given him. Mantu means big uncle in Konkani. Chuchu Mantu is the kindest person in Preet's world. He is also her best friend. One day, Preet sees Chuchu Mantu scoop handfuls of toffees from a jar. and drop them from his bedroom window she watches in amazement as he ducks under the window sill chuckling to himself cries of delight flowed up from the street at the end of the lane is a school when the lunch bell rings chuchu mahanta secretly drops toffees down to the school children as they pass under his window after lunch chuchu mahanta walks back to his office When he passes the children playing he doesn't look at them so the children never guess that the hand that sends them toffees every day belongs to this thin solemn man dressed in white but one day chuchu mahantu has a dreadful pain in his stomach as he is taken to the hospital he presses preet's hand one last time Now Preet sits in Chuchu Mahanto's empty room. His yoga mat is on the floor. She remembers that long ago day when she had walked in and found a pair of long pajama clad legs wiggling into the air. Help! Preet had yelled. Chuchu Mahanto is ulta pulta. Amma and Bhave had rushed into the room and burst out laughing. He is not ulta pulta amma said he is doing yoga mahave said goga repeated three year old preet she had watched with wondering eyes as chuchu mahantu lifted his body on the palms of his hands like a bird about to fly away preet blinks nobody can fill the chuchu mahantu shaped hole in her heart where is chuchu mahantu Where is his kindness? Wonders Preet. She looks under the yoga mat. She searches through his bedside drawers. She goes across to his cupboard and opens it. Oops! A white shirt tumbles out onto Preet's head. Chuchu Mahanto had two white shirts and two pairs of white pants. He had worn them turn by turn every day. Now. There are only white, one white shirt and one pair of white pants left in the cupboard, neatly ironed. Preet carefully folds the shirt and puts it back on the shelf. And that's when she finds it, Chuchu Mahanto's jar of toffees. Preet's tears drop silently into it. A bell rings in the distance. It is lunch time at the school. Soon. The children will pass under Chuchu Mahanto's window, but there's no one to give them toffees now. Yes, there is. Preet jumps up. She scoops handfuls of toffees from the jar and drops them from the window. Preet ducks under the window sill, chuckling happily to herself. Cries of delight float up from the street. Thank you for reading this wonderful book with us. Please stay tuned for the next story. Bye bye.